have lots of algae on you. Did you get a bit uh, misplaced when we had all that rain? Do you need any help or do you think you're okay? Hi. How are you? Hello. You're okay. Yeah, you can go. There you go. You're okay. Yep, if that's the direction you want to head, that's fine. No, you just don't want to talk to me? Okay, I understand. That's fine. You seem like you're doing just fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll leave you be, guy. Or gal, maybe. I don't know. This day and age, I can't really <laughs> assume. There he is. We got a beaver. Look at that. You got you got a long way to go before you're gonna build a dam here, my guy. Well, he might have something going on at the base of that. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Look at him. There you go. Well, yeah. I'm glad we took the road this time. Yeah. Oh, look at him. Is it a beaver or otter? That's a beaver. Look at that tail. Are you sure? It's that's very a, long. That's a. Yeah, that's a long tail. But the beavers have wide tails. Maybe it's just the way he was swimming. Maybe. Come back out, we need to know what you are. I don't think there are otters around here, are there? Yeah, the butterflies really do like to come around here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good morning. Tomorrow we are headed off to ENS, which I've taken you guys along with me before in the past. And one of the main things that we get at ENS when we go is our bulk seasonings. So I wanted to go through and consolidate what seasonings we do have so I know what we're running low on, so I know what to restock on if we need to restock on anything. So I've just pulled everything out of the cabinets. These are our seasonings from here over that are usually in these two drawers that we reach for to cook with. From here over are all of the bulk like refills and like these other random little containers that we have of stuff. So I need to go through and start one by one consolidating all of these and getting them into as few containers as possible so I have a better idea of what we're working with. Usually, Usually all of our seasonings live in this cabinet, all of our like bulk ones. So I've just emptied that out and I grabbed our little vacuum because there's a bunch of salt here that I need to clean up. was there. Oh. Well, all right. I think it was just used to line that. There's also a second one. Interesting. Fall 1992. These papers are older than I am. Oh. Well, all right. But now that that is clean, it is time to start consolidating. So, Basically, how I go about this is I'm just going to start looking at these containers. Like this is my, this is ground cumin and I'm going to find my cumin, which is right here. I'm going to fill this, which it looks like it is actually completely full. So this container, completely full. Meaning we probably don't need to get any more cumin because we have that whole thing and this whole thing. So this can go in there for now. So it's out of the way. This will go back down here. So it's out of the way. And I will just repeat that until I'm left with things that either 
don't have containers or I don't have very much of this and I know then what is left at the end I will need to get more of. Okay, so I just finished doing that. I have these drawers. Ugh. I can help. Full. Thank you. <laughs> Beautiful. Lovely. Vanna White's got nothing on you. So those are now um. filled. <laughs> and up here as well, I went ahead and restocked so we're all good to go. And in doing all of that, we actually have two containers that we need to wash out. And then we have new containers to put some of the seasonings that we didn't have containers for in the past. So that's very good. And come to find out, there's only like two seasonings that we need to restock on. We're still doing really good. I would hope so that cabinet is loaded with seasonings, but nonetheless, I will bring you with us when we go to ENS tomorrow. So you can see, because it's always just a fun adventure going. So guess what I forgot to film? We went to ENS and I entirely forgot to film any of it. We did end up getting a decent amount of things for the donut shop, which I wasn't expecting getting anything, but they had a couple of good deals on things that we were actively using. So we stocked up on those, but yeah, I completely forgot to film any of it at all. And I fully intended to. So that was my bad, but we are actually currently, as I record this in Ohio. So we ended up going to, we, <laughs> We had plans to go to a Packers game. It was the first Packers preseason game of the year. And it was in Cincinnati against the Bengals. So we went and our goal what our goal was to get the Packers t-shirt quilt signed more, get more signatures on it. So we did successfully do that. And we got three more signatures, so we have five signatures total. Hey, you! Hey, you! <laughs> Elliot's telling you all about his adventures at the game. But I will jump back to all of that footage so you can see all of that. Oh, yeah? Whoa! That was a really cool part. Oh, he's showing you how he can blow bubbles. Cool. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Here's the football footage. There you go.
the end, the Packers won! The Packers won! We are now at my brother and sister-in-law's house. They just recently bought a new house, so and it's on the way back home. So we were able to stop and visit them. And it's the day after the game now, obviously. It was very dark when the game ended. But we are now here and relaxing. Elliot is playing in the grass currently. And yeah, just spending the day here with them. And then tonight we're gonna head home. Um, the game was so much fun. Packers won, as you saw. Um, really good game overall. For the most part, it was a pretty clean game. There was a couple things that really were unnecessary, but it's fine. And Elliot had a great time. He did end up passing out twice. He slept when the game first started. He slept for about 20 minutes. And then, well, I don't even know if it was a full 20 minutes. I think it was closer to like 10 minutes that he was asleep when the game first started. But then he woke up and he didn't go to sleep again until like the middle of the fourth quarter. Yeah, what are you doing? Hi. Hi. Come here. He's currently pulling all of the grass out of their front yard. <laughs> Come here. Nope, just hanging out. Okay. But yeah, really good game. He had a blast. We were walking around the stadium for a good amount of the fourth quarter. Dan had Elliot in the Jerry Carrier, like the backpack thing. And we were just keeping him entertained because he didn't want to sit still in the stands. So he loved that. He loved getting smiles from people and giving smiles to people. Yeah, and then the drive here was really easy. And so today, like I said, we're just hanging out. Dan is currently with his brother. They are going and getting some tools. They're setting up a swing set today. So Dan is happy to be just doing things with his brother. And yeah, a very good trip. <laughs>